What's going on, Soul Tribe? Good evening. It's me, Tony, your resident tarot specialist. And we have a love reading for you guys this evening. It is uh, going on 11 p.m. And I was just moved. You know, they were like moving me around in the hospital. So I finally got my own room. And yeah, while the nurses are reading my medical records and chart and all that, <laughs> which they procrastinate on doing sometimes, I'm going to go ahead and take the liberty to do a quick reading. So this will be something for you guys tonight. Uh, again, I hate going days without posting for you guys. But uh, if it makes any difference, I'm using a change tarot. And I'm going to be looking into your current love energetics going to be taking a look at your future energetics in regards to love and romance as well and possibly who's wanting to come towards you on the vibration of love and romance and the matters of the heart all right so you've come to the right place you don't get to see my handsome face this time like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow and yeah add value mm -hmm. so things are looking up things are working out the world is shifting around me in interesting ways. I'm watching the world <laughs> from my peripheral view. And yeah, slow change is better than no change, right? We almost enter in Libra season, right? My my season, my birthday month's next month. <laughs> All right, highest message is love, love and light. Please and thank you, spirit team. What does the collective watchers need to know this evening in regards to love, romance, and the matters of the heart? And I will be finishing up the earth sign readings as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that tonight or tomorrow. Now that I have my own room here, got some extra time and some extra space. All right. So let's get into it. Grounding the reading for you guys is judgment. So time to take action. This is a judgment call, right? The universe wanting to get your attention. Mm -hmm. Time to take a stance. We have the Eight of Cups, so a judgment call to walk away. Um, now, judgment is also Earth Angel activity. Again, it's the universe or spirit trying to get your attention, blowing a horn, right? Revelation. It could be revival as well. Now, that could be a counselor possibly saying, hey, these are the red flags. I'm not sure what this is yet, though. Eight of Cups and a love reading. As the first card that's releasing or walking away from something, it could also be detoxing as well, coming off of that judgment card at the bottom of the, uh, of the deck. It reminds me of a 12-step program. But the Eight of Cups could be indicative of the distance in its relationship as well. That's only the first card. Let's get the rest of the reading. Next, we have Page of Pentacles, a small offer. So, yeah, someone's leaving behind something to bring you something. It would also be a healthy choice for someone to cut out addictions in order to have more money. <laughs> the Fool card, an adventure. Yep, someone's leaving something. Oh, I'm getting out with the old and with the new. Yep, the Fool card, Aries energy. Taking a leap of faith, right? A new journey or an adventure. An outdoorsman, a shaman. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, the page grows over time to a Seven of Pentacles which is, um, you know, not necessarily harvest season, but we're getting close to it. Seven of Pentacles is basically basically looking back on your efforts, your work, the things that you've planted, making sure things are going accordingly, right? Yeah. The Seven of Pentacles always reminds me of someone that has something to offer or to bring to the table, right? Yeah. Let's see. The next card is Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, time. Something is time sensitive here. Mm hmm because pentacles is time to me, right? Seven of pentacles is literally my hourglass card. And right after that, the wheel of fortune, time, right? Change, right? It's actually divine timing, right? And divine change, right? The universe stepping in to support you somehow, grant you a wish fulfillment. This could be a monetary abundance or literally uh, some sort of a wish fulfillment in regards to love. It's one of my marriage ring cards as well with the page of pentacles here. Someone could be offering you some sort of a gift or a small proposal. Let's get to the second row. Eight of Cups is clarified by Six of Swords. So more movement. Mm. I don't know if someone had to kiss your ass goodbye or someone had to kiss your person's ass goodbye, but your person dipped out. 
Now, take it as it resonates. Your person may not necessarily be stepping out of a toxic relationship or coming off of karmic triggers. They may just want to come towards you. They may miss you, as I'm getting with the Eight of Cups. They may want to go on a vacation with you. Six of Swords. Right? Six of Swords is movement. It's also clarity of thought for me. Overall, in the tarot community, it's sailing towards smoother or calmer waters, right? I call it smooth sailing. My favorite piece in Monopoly is the ship. <laughs> smooth sailing, baby. Next, we have the Seven of Swords on top of the Page of Pentacles. So, Seven of Swords is sneaky behavior. We go from six to seven. Someone may be hiding some sort of an abundance. Again, I just need to mention, sometimes it may come off as a page, but you never know, right? Reminiscent of that movie, Coming to America with Eddie Murphy. Or just legitimately starting from the bottom and building yourself up to the top, right? Um, but Seven of Swords could be some sort of a deceit or treachery or just not revealing all of your hands or all of the information. Um, Tiptoeing around a situation. On a positive note, this could be some sort of a plan or strategy as well. We'll get to the bottom of it. The Fool is clarified by the Four of Cups. This person, yeah. Oh, your person is very calculated. <laughs> okay, I like two sevens on uh, this showing up here. A seven of pentacles and a seven of swords. So they're very, um, I'm not sure if they're detail oriented or they're very specific about the things that they like. Because the four of cups that I just pulled clarifying a full card, yeah, they're willing to take a leap of faith, but they're they're still picky and choosy about certain things. This person may be, um, what do you call those people that change their mind on a whim? Might be one of those type of people, like fickle people. channel message they may just not let small things bother them like people are so pressed about their image of course you want to your image is important but like really you don't have to play keep up with the joneses right you don't even know that behind closed doors the joneses is suffering as well right that's kind of like how i've been feeling over the past couple years like people know me for shining like a light right <laughs> me dressing nice swag whatever you want to call it now I'm just, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> right? Eminem. <laughs> Let's see. Seven of Pentacles is being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, Harvest is coming in. Your person has been working on something. Uh, I mean, I'm also getting pregnancy. I'm not sure who that is um, resonating for. Again, take the message how it resonates. Hmm. This could be pregnancy or someone being choosy. Again, being choosy about their partner. Again, why would you date someone if you don't... I mean, I guess dating is dating, but why would you be in a relationship with someone that you don't see yourself uh, marrying and having children with? Especially if you know, no, you don't want to be with this person. Stop wasting time. Right? You're actually only cheating yourself because men like me that see that you're in a relationship... <laughs> And you trying to keep the thoughts in your head, right? Seven of Swords, right? That you don't want to be in a relationship, but you don't want to be by yourself. It's almost like women that that's trying to cheat the system by marrying themselves. So that means when a man that comes along that actually wants to be with you or marry you, you can't do it because it would be considered cheating on yourself. Dumbass. <laughs> Page of Wands, youthful curiosity. Yeah, Someone's very interested in you sexually. Yeah. Curious about you. Yeah. This person may be like an amateur athlete or actress or just younger than you. They may be a content creator. The Justice card is clarifying Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, the only way for uh, your person to get their wish fulfillment is for them to be honest with themselves. Right? Yeah. Don't be a poser and try to fit into groups that you know that you don't really fit in. Like I just said with the Joneses. Ain't nobody trying to fit in with the Joneses, right? <laughs> The crazy part, me, I was a chameleon growing up and still am. I got it from my father. My father uh, introduced me into anime and um, the Beatles and stuff like that. Like he grew up with a lot of, you know, white friends and, you know, Spanish friends being from Miami and that type of stuff. Just that type of thing, a chameleon. And I'm the same way. I can blend in with any group or crowd of people. Actually, the crowd will try to blend in with me. Let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Swords here. You may be dealing with the Libra. It's being, uh, the Seven of Swords is being clarified by the Hangman. 
someone may be uh, potentially be some sort of an oracle. Maybe they uh, started some sort of an oracle business, or maybe there's some sort of a reader here. They bring truth to people, or they act as some sort of a counselor. Mm -hmm. This could be spiritual justice. You have the tower card. Mm, yeah, destruction. Clarifying the four of cups and the uh, fool card. A lot of Mars energy here. Your person's probably sexually frustrated. Mm -hmm. But again, they're very picky about, um, again, like me, I'm very picky about the people that I uh, have sex with, if I'm going to put it that bluntly. It is nighttime, so, you know, mm -hmm. the readings and the energy and the, even the way readers speak sometimes just change up. So, yeah. Let me see here. The tower guard. So this would be destruction, like the destruction of something, a literal home, a tower or something like that. This could be a download or an aha moment. Yeah, the tower came out after the hangman. Mm -hmm. So clairvoyant gifts and abilities, a download, channel messages. Mm -hmm. This person may have dreamed of you or something like that. No. But some people are just, um, they know what they want when they see it, basically. Yeah, I, I can ignore women all day. <laughs> but when I see something I like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm not even a type of person to approach women like that, right? <laughs> Seven of Cups, three sevens on a board, yeah. Some sort of an innate talent, skill, or ability someone has. Definitely it uh, could be channeling. Again, it may be some sort of a clairvoyant. Um, last card of the reading here, page of wands and the wheel of fortune is clarified by the seven of wands, guarded energy. So this person is uh, very strong. They're very defensive and guarded. They have persevered through a lot as well over time. Mm -hmm. They have stood the test of time or something like that. They have been tested recently and they passed. Mm -hmm. Not sure what it was. Take it how it resonates. Maybe you know what it is. Maybe when this person comes towards you, they'll be uh, they'll let you know about it. Now, again, you know people can't tell you all their business sometimes. Seven of Swords, mm -hmm. for fear of being judged or whatever the case may be. Right? What's under the deck? What's the hidden feelings or the hidden energies in this connection? And this person wants to come towards you. Uh, judgment here, making a judgment call, deciding to take action towards you. Nine of Swords is fear though. It's a mental illness, anxiety, sleeplessness. This person may be nervous to come towards you or afraid or something like that. Six of Pentacles, balance. Mm. It's giving off imbalance though, right? Again, I, I'm, I don't read upside down cards, but I could pick up upside down energy. This person is uncertain if you guys are on the same level or something like that. You know what it is? It, 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 reminds, it reminds me of wedding day judgment call. Uh, the judgment card is out and justice is out, both my marriage cards. It reminds me of, um, yeah, being nervous on your wedding day, right? You know you love the person. You know you want to get married to them, but then you get the, you still got that little bit of last nervous energy. Yeah, I'm getting um, Kevin's Heart, the song Kevin's Heart, J. Cole. Mm -hmm. The video is pretty funny. The chariot, yeah, this person is determined to come towards you. Again, distance. This person may be a traveler or they've been traveling. They could be a cancer. Mm. This person is looking for a victory or success with you. Yeah, that's what's making them nervous. Eight of swords, yeah, and they keep thinking about this over and over. Yep, I'm getting that Nelly and Tim McGraw song, and it's all in my head, and I think about it over and over again. Yeah. Uh, and then at the bottom is the magician. So yeah, they're manifesting this in some sort of a way. The magician in three sevens with the tower card, that's magics. This person's definitely clairvoyant, seven of cups. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is they're good. They have a strong sense of right and wrong. This person could be very uh, forthright, right? Um, like a, a good person, basically. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what are the major arcana showing up here? Wheel of Fortune. Judgment, chariot. So let's see. I think this person may have clairvoyant gifts, definitely. We got the chariot, cancer, judgment, Scorpio, tower, Scorpio, the hangman, Pisces. A lot of water sign energy here. Yeah. 
This person may be very emotional. That's Cancerian energy. Mm -hmm. This person may like to be inebriated, like in higher states of consciousness. Uh, the hangman, Pisces. This person may be enlightened. Again, it may have strong, vivid dreams or something like that. Maybe precognition, judgment card, right? Um, getting everyone's attention. Uh, life reflection as well. And the tower card, right? <laughs> if you don't make the decision, judgment call, the, the tower is going to make a the choice for you, basically. We also have uh, the fool and justice, Aries and Libra, opposites of the zodiac, right? I'm a Libra sun, uh, Aries moon. So I resonate with the energy as well. And we have Wheel of Fortune. Very lucky individual, Lucy. <laughs> no, but this person that's coming towards you, they may be very successful or they have the aptitude to be. Mm -hmm. They may be like a, a budding, um, I don't even I don't even think it's a struggling artist. I think they're just a budding artist. This person could be new at something, right? Yeah, a quick learner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a procedure done today, and one of the nurses, she's actually a newly resident nurse, but <laughs> since I'm psychic and I can pick up on the energy, I can pick up on the way people move and the way people talk, she didn't think that I knew that she was new. Meanwhile, the doctor that was training her was over talking, uh, was, was talking, and everything that he was saying was going over all the students' heads, and I'm sitting there like, yeah, <laughs> I've been doing this for 20 years, so I know medical terminology. <laughs> when I was getting surgery, you was in diapers. But, you know, sometimes people look at people and they judge them and they don't think that people sh should know. Like, <laughs> what do you know about anything, black guy? <laughs> well, have a seat. Let me teach you something. <laughs> um, Page of Pentacles and Page of Wands. Yeah. This person may be either very youthful or um, they may have children. It looks like they just started some sort of a business, though. Some sort of a creative business. I'm not sure if they're like a, uh, a gig worker or something like that. They, are, if they may be like a cover. They may um, be in a cover band or something like that. Or someone that sings covers. What else do we have? Positive energy. Nine of Pentacles abundance right uh the whole snack independence seven of cups is having multiple options it's also being clairvoyant as well having multiple clairvoyant abilities and gifts seven of pentacles is the um it is my time card right it's willing is wanting to invest after looking back on the things that you've built right wanting to continue that success right have to get to that eight but you got to the nine though so yeah someone's very consistent and then a six of swords, which is a vacation or moving away, making sure you're at a positive state of mind. Um, the four of cups, which is being picky, right? Refusing, um, I guess, and instead of releasing things that no longer serve you, just don't let them into your life, right? An ounce of, an ounce of, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And the four of cups doubles into an eight of cups. Again, this person walking away, possibly, if they were in a relationship. Maybe they had to let this person down easy that they was with or whatever the case may be. Maybe you may have to let this person down easily if you're not attracted to this person, right? Love is optional. And one thing I always say, if you have to force somebody to spend time on you or to say, um, you know, for them to say, I love you. If you have to force somebody to say, I love you, that's not the one. A person should get a joy out of telling the person that they love, they love them, right? <laughs> This is dedicated to the lovers. Yep. I'm getting, um, can't wait. Um, this is Sleepy Brown and Outcast. Let's get a break deck message for the collective before we close out. 19, 19 on the timer, so 10, 10. Wheel of Fortune is numerology number 10 in the Wheel of Fortune, uh, in the Major Arcana. So, yeah, there's definitely, again, um, this isn't like a super deep, uh, like soulmate or twin flame connection, and it doesn't have to be, right? This doesn't even have to be romantic if it doesn't uh, resonate for you as romantic, right? This person could just be very interested in you, maybe for business readings, or they want to use you as like a muse or something like that. Or maybe this is a teacher-student dynamic. Mm-hmm. 
relationships are relationships. Let's see, break deck message. I got the page of wands and the judgment card. So yeah, someone's being judged here. So yeah, page of wands is like an amateur. Um, someone, so I'm getting someone that has talent and then the judgment card is literally a judge judging someone. So I don't know if this page of wands is like a young model, some sort of a young actor, a young athlete or entertainer or something like that. Um, Maybe they go out hiking or something like that. This may be a 10K challenge or something like that. Someone's climbing mountains or whatever, camping out in the woods for the first time. Uh, Boy Scouts, she had a judgment card that's coming off as a teacher. Mm -hmm. It is one of my motivational speakers, a whistleblower. Literally, he's blowing a horn, right? Getting everyone's attention. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I have. Yeah, I wasn't picking up a whole lot of love and romance. Um... Let's see. Do I want to ask anything in specific before I close out this weekend's message? So think of your person. If you currently um, are dating someone or if you have aspirations to come towards someone romantically, 21, 21 in the timer. If you don't, this could be the energy of the person that's coming towards you that wants to connect with you romantically, right? Um, so I'm going to ask the tarot. Um, what this person likes about you. I'm going to do five cards, two of pentacles, okay? That you're multi-talented. You probably juggle multiple things at once and you make it look easy. Yeah, even on your tough, hard days, it looks easy, five of pentacles. This person likes to see that you're not... Um, It's coming off as you like to be outside and that you're not locked down. So whichever one you want to uh, um, resonate with, that you're not locked down or that you're always outside. Yeah, this, this is what your person likes about you. We got the temperance card. Yeah, you're well balanced. You may be very spiritual or you give off a very healing presence. Again, yeah, you like to travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you don't stay in one place at once. We have the Ten of Swords. Possibly that you're very, uh, you could be very, um, you have a strong mind is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Maybe you are, you get into like brainstorming or something like that, overanalyzing. Maybe you do a lot of online work. The Ten of Swords is my social media card, distractions, gossip and rumors. Maybe your person likes the fact that you're not into that sort of thing. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, your person, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You have you have a class is basically what I'm getting as a channel message, but yeah, the four of cups is is refusing uh, certain things emotionally, right? Sickness and disease and just bad, you know, romantic partners and that sort of thing. Bad friendships, right? And your person is thinking about if they're in a relationship with you. Do you have toxic friends? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it wasn't nothing physical. It has more to do with your personality, right? Your integrity. Let's get some more messages. Let's ask the tarot. What would this person say to you if they could? Again, you may very well be living with this person. But I want to see what the tarot's are saying, right? Maybe this person um, wants... Also, I want to see if they want to communicate something to you that they've been hiding from you or they normally wouldn't say. So let's see if the tarot can tell us something that your person um, is thinking about but typically wouldn't say to you. <laughs> we get the Ace of Pentacles. Something about money, abundance. Um, I guess your person thinks you're wealthy. And your person also doesn't want you to think that um, they're coming towards you for your uh, money, your finances as well. Maybe they want to grow finances with you as well, right? Yeah. Instead of blowing a bag on a chick, show a chick how to start a business so that she can create her own bags, right? That's what a man in your life is supposed to be doing for you, right? Especially a husband. He's supposed to be opening doors for you, right? Literally, financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, <laughs> Right? And don't forget, you have to reciprocate as well, women. But take that message how it resonates. You could be very well be a man, and your your woman likes the fact that you're you're a secure provider, right? You're uh, financially stable. 
We have the King of Wands, yeah, strategic leader, that you're very attractive as well. Mm -hmm. Again, take it how it resonates if you're watching this as a man or a woman. Your person thinks that you're very attractive. You're very magnetic, very powerful, very commanding. People look up to you, the Nine of Cups. They see wish fulfillment in you, yeah. So if your person, <laughs> so if you're not already with this person, this person, <laughs> they're thinking, but they probably haven't, <laughs> this is something that they haven't told you yet, <laughs> that they see wish fulfillment in you. They like you a lot. They're so attracted to you. They may want to propose to you or, or bring you some sort of a gift. Yeah. The Ace of Wands. <laughs> yeah, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person likes you a lot. Yeah. You give, you, oh, oh man, I don't even want to take it back that way. But yeah, you inspire this person. You motivate this individual. And again, they're very sexually attracted to you. The King of Wands is out with a wand, the ace. That boy's King of Wands in. The last card, what would this person say to you, but uh, want to say to you that they typically wouldn't? The Magician card. Oh my God, the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Magician? Jesus Christ, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, these are all positive things. Your person likes the fact, yeah, your person thinks that you can do anything. <laughs> like how uh, when we were children and we looked up to our parents as if they were superheroes and they can do anything in the world. And then we grew up and realized they as was just normal people, right? But no, your person, um, I don't know if you make this person still feel like a child, but this person thinks that you can do like not no wrong, but this person thinks that you can make the impossible possible. <laughs> Literally with the king of wands, the magician, and the wand out, that is, your person thinks that you can will anything you want into existence, that you can have any person that you want, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that Usher song, My Way. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, your person likes you. That's it. I'm not going to pull anymore. I'll do a break deck message and close it out. Oh, since I didn't upload yesterday. I was laying in bed like, should I upload, should I? And every time I want to upload, here comes the world barging in on my energy. <laughs> Break that message. The Knight of Swords. Oh, they want to communicate with you. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. I think they want to invest in you. Mm -hmm. Someone's here is very abundant. Mm -hmm. The energy of this connection. You guys may communicate a lot about abundance or ways to make money or to increase the power of you guys is... Um, legacy or something like that i don't know if you guys uh work together at a job or if literally you guys take your uh, your marriage as a business as well right because there are certain tax benefits and write-offs for people that are married right just like people need to start realizing that uh, your business uh your marriage is a business right right take it back to soul food sundays when people sat around the table as a family and joked and stuff like that right they need to sit around at dinner, the dinner table and talk about um, business as a family, right? I don't know how people will be in, in relationships dating each other and they never have a conversation about money. Right? 28, 28, just pass out of time. So I'm going to close this one off. Your person definitely wants to communicate with you. There's a lot of things they want to say to you. Um, I know I just uploaded a 10, 10 synchronicity. Uh, Shanti, uh, rock with you onto my... Um, Instagram page that may be relevant for someone. Rock with you. This person wants to communicate with you to tell you about how they want to rock with you, basically. Right? So that's what I have for you guys this evening. Hopefully you enjoyed your reading. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Um, peace, family. <laughs>